Hello there, I'm Chernet. Welcome to our channel. Today we have brought to you modern metal frames tool set design ideas or plans for you to do them at your home. This video contains a collection of metal frames tool design ideas which you can easily copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already a subscribed, a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Tools are armless and backless seats for one person. Folding stools with skin or fabric seats and solid framed stools with wood or brush seats were known to Egyptians, early Greeks and Romans and the Vikings. These stools were supported on four straight legs or on four legs arranged crosswise in the X fashion. Most variations of stools construction have been reflected either in the padded or hard top or in the support decorations. Stools are just a type of short chair. The height and narrowness of stools make them suitable for use. A stool is one of the earliest forms of seat furniture. It bears many similarities to a chair. It consists of a single seat for one person without back or armrest. On a base of a stool, there is either one, two, three, or four legs. A stool is generally distinguished from chairs by their lack of arms and the back. Variants exist with one, two, or five legs, and these various stools are referred to by some people as backless chairs. Some modern stools have backs. Holding stools can become flat typically by rotating the seat to be parallel with the fold-up legs. Some stools are designed with three legs because these points define a plane. This will not wobble even if placed on an uneven floor. Passing almost unchanged from antiquity into medieval use, the stool remained the common sitting form. Late medieval stools which resembled bench, small benches were called board or slab-ended stools. They were made obsolete by the straightened joint stool which was produced in the 17th century in upholstered sets with chairs and footstools. The use of stools has often reflected a society's antiquity. In Europe, from the Middle Ages through the 17th century, a strict protocol prescribed their use, and in Africa, the stool often denotes the office of a tribal chief and carries with it religious symbolism. By the 19th century, the stools had become primarily rustic or ornamental furniture. The exception was the development of the bar stool, a high stool with or without arms and the back, usually fixed to a central post and used in bars and cocktail lounges. There are many different types of stools and there are also different construction materials and models for stools. Stools are often made of wood or metal. There are bar stools with, an, with and without padding or upholstery on the seat surface. Stools can range from basic wooden designs to more complex ones with adjustable height. Extra tall and extra short are common features, as well as indoor stools and outdoor stools. Some stools can swivel while the rest are fixed. Some stools are foldable while the rest are not. The seat height for a stool depends on its application. Milking stools are often shorter than stools used for camping or outdoor activities. Bar stools can have a head comparable to the counter table. 
These tools are increasingly used in contemporary styles with high bob tables to create a visual effect in modern interiors. Stools used varied types of padding material. Some of some stools use polyurethane foam as padding for comfort. Stool can be made from different materials, as stated above. Wood is the most widely used material for making stools. However, metal stools have become very popular. Other materials used in making stools include plastics and bamboo, among others. The retro styling of the 1950s and 1960s is popular in some bars and restaurants which use chrome and vinyl stools combined with matching bench or diner chairs. Stacking stools are often favored for their space saving qualities. Some establishments use matching bar stools and chairs. Aluminum is often used outdoors. Stacking aluminum stools and patio chairs are used by commercial premises. Indoors, wood and upholstery are popular in traditional settings. Bar stools are used in pool or billiard halls, and the style of chair customized for such use is often called a spectator chair. Bar stools are used in Ireland during weekends by followers of the English Premier League, a practice which led to the creation of the pejorative term bar stoolers by supporters of the League of Ireland. Bar stools are a gross and area in the consumer market and online purchasing is on the increase. Bar stools can be made in order to in order to bar stools can be made to order and customers can specify a wide range of fabrics and finishes as well as specifying other options such as height and custom food rests. Both wooden and metal bar stools, including stainless and chrome styles and adjustable head features are popular. The simplest stool was like the Windsor chair. A solid plank seat had three legs set into it with round mortise and tenon joints. These simple stools probably used the green woodworking technique of setting already dried legs into a steel green seat. As the seat dries and shrinks, the joints are held tight. These legs were originally formed by shaving down a form of simple branch or pole. Later examples developed turned shapes. One of the uses of the three legs stool is for farm workers in milking cows. Later developments in the 17th century produced the joint stool using the developing technique of joinery to produce a large box-like steel stool from the minimum of timber by joining long thin spindles and rails together at right angles. Metal stool is a type of furniture that uses metal parts in its construction. There are various types of metals that can be used, such as iron, carbon steel, aluminum, and stainless steel. Iron and steel products are extensively used in many applications, ranging from office furnishings to outdoor settings. Cast iron is used mainly for outdoor finishings and settings, such as those used for bench legs and solid iron tables. It is suited to outdoor use due to its hardness heaviness and general tough composition. The main disadvantage of this is that iron is subjected to corrosion and at the hands of moisture and air. The second type of metal used in furniture industry is a stainless steel. Stainless steel is used very extensively for most modern interior furnishings involving metal. Many hinge slides, supports and body pieces are composed of stainless steel. It has a high tensile strength, allowing it to be applied using hollow tubes and reducing weight and increasing user accessibility.
The third metal which is widely used in the furniture industry is aluminum. Aluminum is a light and corrosion resistant metal and to take advantage of these qualities it is heavily utilized for stamped and cast furniture especially in the category of molded chairs. Aluminum atoms form an outer layer of aluminum oxide which prevents the internal aluminum from being corroded. Metal furniture is a popular choice of furnishings especially used outdoors for or deck patios, decks and patios. However, metal furniture can also be used indoors such as brass beds, brass tables, iron bakers, racks and metal curio cabinets. Besides being sturdy, metal furniture is attractive giving a contemporary look to your home. To make it stand out, all it takes is a good polishing to give it and add charm and character. When we look at the history of metal furniture, steel indoor and outdoor furniture has been popular since the 1920s. Around 1925, furniture designers and architects began working with tubular steel, having been impressed with the lightweight and strength of the handlebars of a bicycle. The resulting furniture designs using this material are some of the most important of the period. But Production of all outdoor furniture came to a sudden halt when the world entered into the World War II, and factories began churning out products supporting the war effort. After the war ended, those same factories necessarily switched to making products for peacetime pursuits. Factories began producing metal lawn furniture. With the war over and a new consumer society developed, and manufacturer of outdoor steel furniture became widely popular. By the 1950s, in addition to tubular steel, furniture was produced using aluminum, wire mesh, and legs made of thin steel rods that give a mid-century furniture its distinctive splayed leg light on its fit look. These designs are basically called these hairpin leg designs. Uh, so these are all still widely available hairpin leg design stools are still widely available uh, throughout the world when you look at the benefits of metal furniture it includes several points durability is the main advantage of metal furniture for example not many types of non-metal furniture can remain outside during winter and still look good when spring arrives okay it carried Cared, if cared for properly, metal furniture can last, can last up to 30 years. Because most metal furniture is treated for rust and heat resistance, it doesn't need much maintenance. Steel furniture or steel stools are typically pricier when uh, due to the varying level of expensiveness of the material used. However, it is hard to identify it after a finish is applied. Steel has low medium, low, medium or high carbon, with most metal furniture being made with low carbon because it is cheaper than a high grade of carbon. Stainless steel is good for low maintenance. Made of an alloy of carbon, iron and other metals, its main reason for strength is because of chromium, which protects us from rust and corrosion because of its thin film of oxide on the surface. Wrought iron is good for garden furniture, providing a classic look. However, it is very heavy, which is a challenge, but appreciated on windy days. It needs much care though and can easily rust and corrode if not waterproofed. Aluminium is more common than steel furniture, mostly because it does not rust although it oxidizes, turning it into a chalky white material. 
It is also lighter than steel making it more desirable. Cast and heavy tube aluminum give better quality. Aluminum has to be thicker than steel if it has to have much strings. Tibular aluminum is flexible and hollowing besides less sturdy. However, its lightness makes for an ideal poolside furniture and is mainly used for benches, folding chairs and swing sets. When we look at the different types of finishes you can apply to your metal furniture or to your metal stool. Choosing the right finish for metal furniture is important because of its durability. Some of the most common finishes include chrome plating, plastic covers, painted, brass and adonized finishes. Chrome plating, although durable, is thin and if damaged where it is exposed to air, scratches can rust. Plastic coated finishes are synthetically made and good as they prevent rusting or the metal changing color from air exposure. Although they are as strong as paint finishes, they do not hold up as well as electroplated finishes. Paint finishes are for both steel and aluminium furniture, although it easily scratches and rusts. Brass plating, which is an, electro an electroplated finish, is applied in a bath and is durable. Solid brass is both pricey and rare. Brass is made from copper and zinc, two metals that are prone to corrosion from exposure to salty water or air. Brass finishes should be oiled or clear coated with polyurethane or a similar material to make a barrier from air and water to prevent corrosion. Corrosion is slowed when a surface is already oxidized. For example, Aluminum is very hard to weld because it is because of its present aluminum oxide layer. This prevents access to the bare metal. The bare metal. Adorized finishes are used on aluminum furniture to increase the thickness of aluminum oxide layer, creating a thicker barrier between the atmosphere and the aluminum base metal. When selecting metal furniture or metal stools, consider the coat and finish, ensuring the surface is either power coated or electroplated. Also consider your climate because different materials react to different uh, differently as compared to your climate from place to place. For example, if you live in a rainy area, you will want furniture with heavy waterproofing and light enough to carry indoors. For hot climates, consider that aluminum retains heat so you cannot use it until it cools down. Often people consider metal furniture with being uncomfortable as images of a metal conjure up old hard backed chairs as well as cold shiny surfaces. However, it is easy to add cushions and upholstery to make the furniture comfortable as well as attractive. Also adding some simple curves also adds to comfort and many types of metal furniture manufacturers have done so. So you can add different types of cushions, upholstery to your metal uh, and wooden frame stool designs. As you can see in the video, we have compiled more than 300 wood and metal stool design ideas for your inspiration. If you like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Uh, well as you can see um, the designs they are some of them are very simple to make uh, with the basic hand tools while some of the designs are a little bit more complex requiring you some jigs and fixtures but overall you can pick uh, any design at your skill level and try to manufacture uh, these uh, metal frame tools some of the designs have their own dimensions clearly stated 
so you don't have to bother trying to determine the dimensions. Those who di without dimensions, you can see how they are made and uh, tinker around with your own dimensions. But overall, uh, this compilation consists of more than 374 designs for metal frames tools. Like I said in the introduction in the introduction section, you can turn this into a very successful small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools. If you have a basic cutting, welding and grinding tools and finishing uh, tools, you can turn it into a very successful small scale manufacturing business. It's providing products very unique products to your local market and then expand from there on. You might have noticed by now that our channel is full of these different design ideas on different products basically on wooden uh, structures and metal uh, furniture ideas and also full videos featuring full uh, production processes or how-to videos are also featured on this channel so I encourage you to check out the rest of our videos share like this video so that more audience can see the video and get inspired to make their own products I still urge you to subscribe if you haven't already and smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Thank you for watching, thank you for staying with us until the end of the video. Stay safe and stay blessed and we hope to see you in our next video. Thank you.